yes as you can see parts are coming back off which means she's not playing ball welcome back to Johnny's XJ school teacher brought into school, a moped engine, and he put it into the workshop vice, and then he started it up with an old piece of rope, and the smell and the sound changed my life forever. Yes, a little bit better. I did have to improvise on the uh, choke cable. One side of the plastic had broken off. Tried to super glue in it, but it wouldn't have it. But I think that's a pretty permanent bodge job. So, let's get them back together. Okay, little bits of an update. I've done the carburetors obviously, but first I've 
took the clutch lever off again because it was sort of down there and I couldn't lift it up to where I wanted it. So I had to put all that off and repaint it. Now it's about right. But the worst problem is I've had it running again. I've connected it up to the fuel pump like suggested on the comments. Thank you very much. But uh, as soon as you rev it, it just goes bleh. So I'm at a bit of a loss at the moment. Not really sure what to do. So I think I'm going to take a bit of a respite. Yeah, I'm going to take some respite and uh, when I get back, I'll have a fresh mind and try and work it out. So, um, this is my respite. Cool, that was a long respite, wasn't it? 
if there's anybody still there. <laughs> I found a couple or three things that I think might be wrong. I'm still not really sure on the coils whether they're wired up right. I think they're wired up right but I'm not totally sure. That's an orange. The bottom one is red. The top one is red. The bottom one is white. And this is number one cylinder on the left as you sit on the bike. If anybody could help me out and tell me if that's correct, I would be much appreciated. Uh, the next thing is, I'm not sure if there's any vacuum leaks on these homemade carburetor port things. So that's one problem I might have. And the other problem is, oh, I don't know if it's a problem, but I've just noticed on the back of the CDI unit, it's all nice and smooth here, but then when you go over there, looks like there's a load of gravel in it or something. Is that normal? I don't know. If anybody could advise me again, please be much appreciated. If anybody could comment on those three things, give me any tips, please, 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 thank you very much. Uh, I was hoping to have it all back together by now and taking it for its MOT, but you know, sod's law, nothing goes as you want it to, does it? So that will be it for the midweek video, I'm afraid. Still not running right. Uh, Sunday video, last Sunday's video was a bit uh, stepping backwards from the starting up process to rebuilding it to what it is now with the exhaust and everything on. But uh, I just wanted to show the starting process off first. So uh, thanks again anyway, thanks again for watching. Please leave a subscribe, leave a subscribe, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up or a comment, or all three. Be much appreciated. And I'll see you on the next one. Guy was a young boy. A school teacher brought him to school. A notebook engine. But he put it in to the workshop boys. And then he started it up with a whole piece of rope. And the smell and the sound changed my life forever. I see you in another life, brother.